scientists, let's take all of the knowledge that we have gained about how temperature changes water's state of matter and let's make a working water cycle. I can make my own water cycle. Mm -hmm. That's right, I sure can. I'm going to use a little jar here and I'm going to put in some very hot water. Remember my hot water that I had boiled? Now you know if the water is really hot, those molecules are moving really quickly. And if they're moving really quickly, they're going to change from a liquid to a gas. Yes, water vapor traveling up, 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 up to my sky. My lid is going to be my sky. But remember, way, way up in the sky, it's really cold, isn't it? So that means that I need to put a little ice cube up there so my sky is cold. And then we are going to see if indeed my hot water is going to change to a gas. Oh, look, I see it happening. Look at the sides. We've got condensation forming. Remember when the water vapor touches the cool glass, it cools down and turns to a liquid? Condensation. But up in my sky, I should also be getting condensation. And if that worked out, then hopefully I'll get some precipitation that can fall from my sky. We're going to let that sit there. I'm going to wait. And I'm going to let that happen. And then we're going to check it. I had precipitation. Now if we look closely, we should see precipitation fall from that sky. Oh, it's hard to see. There it is, dripping down. You can see the condensation there. My cold, cold sky cooled down that water vapor, slowed down those molecules so that they changed from a gas back to a liquid. And then we had our precipitation. So isn't that neat how you can take knowledge that you can experiment with in a laboratory setting and you can apply it right back out to the natural world and better understand what drives the water cycle. And most importantly, scientists, we did a lot of looking for something today and that something was evidence. Remember, science is based on evidence. Always make sure you're measuring, checking, questioning, and getting evidence so you know you can trust the science that you're hearing. Have a great day, scientists.